Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to use the order property to rearrange items. The order property is used to tell CSS the order of how flex items appear in the flex container. By default, items will appear in the same order they come in the source HTML. What does that mean? That means like in this example, box one will be before box two because that's the, how they're defaultly set in um, this example. The property takes numbers as values and negative numbers can be used. Um, okay, cool. So we want to add the CSS property order to both box one and box two. Order. Order. And give box one the value of two and box two the value of one. Cool. What happens if we give this one the value of zero? Okay, cool, we see blue is over here. So what we're doing when we do this, one and one, it makes it so there's no change. When we set this to two, they switch. Now if we had a third box in here, we could probably order them based on however we set these numbers. And so if we were to get set this guy to three, we'll go back the way it was. And if this one's negative one, it'll go back to uh, the way that we're s supposed to have it here. Anyways, now the whole idea here is what, the, what they're showing is that you can switch these two boxes around using the order when you're using this CSS uh, flexbox property. It's important to remember that in order for this to work, box container needs to be set to flex. I'm pretty sure if you commented this out, it wouldn't work at all. And you can see that it doesn't. Well, maybe it does. No, see, if it's not underneath, if, it, if, if the boxes that you're ordering are not within the container of a flexbox, you, are, you won't be, be able to access these um, CSS uh, variable names. And uh, there you go. We run the test and we'll see they pass. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.